Okay, boys, so we are doing something a little different this time. You guys always get on my neck about me getting these guys to come on and draft my team and me giving all these hints. I swear, sometimes I really don't think I'm giving hints, but clearly you guys realize it even when I don't. So what we are going to do is I am going to be doing a video where Josh Hader picks my BR team and I'm... I'm not gonna make one hit. You guys will see it in my face. You guys will know that I did not make one hit, all right? And if I do, you guys can publicly do a petition to change my name to Suzanne Blanchard because I'm telling you I'm not going to. So that's what we're doing right now. We are gonna start this draft. We're gonna get my boy Josh Hader on Discord and we are gonna get this set up to where hopefully he drafts me a good team. But if he doesn't, we're using the team anyways, all right? All right, guys, before we get on with this video, I wanna give a huge shout out to Squarespace for helping sponsor this video. Squarespace is an online one platform that helps you run and build an online platform for your business. This can range from websites and online stores to marketing and analytics. I cannot wait to give you guys more information about this, so make sure you guys hang tight at the end of this video. I'm gonna give you guys a chance to not only save some money, but build a nice online presence and help market your own business. Yo, Josh, you hear me? Yeah, I got you. What's up, my man? What up, what up, man? All right, bro, you ready to do this? Yeah, let's get it on, man. All let's, right. Let's, draft, let's All draft right. the best team in the game right now. So I was telling them, right? I can't tell you one thing. Not one thing. No hints. You can't ask me for any hints. Nothing. Because they get mad at me when I do, all right? <laughs> all right. Pineapple safe word. <laughs> Pineapple. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Boom. All right. That's the first round. I'm not saying nothing. It's just... Uh, I got to go with my boy, Seeger. Okay. Right that's, off the bat. that's exactly who you should pick. Let me make sure your volume's <laughs> all good real quick. Uh, okay. All right, so... Sorry. He said Seeger. Obviously, we love that. 1-1, one, one, Corey Seeger. Okay. Mm. Not, I can't. I'm not even going to read off the names because I may accidentally read off the name in a specific way. Hey, you, but, might, have to, you might say it the right way, but I'm, I might have to go Tony Perez. Yeah. We got to look at the stats, so. Yeah, no, so just tell me what you want to see. Tell me who to scroll it's either, over. It's, it's either between Tony and Willie. Okay. You got Tony right here. And then you got Willie Stargell right here. So that's Tony. That's We're going to go Tony. He's overall like, he can, he can put some. I've, put I've actually some. never used this card, but his attributes definitely are looking good. I mean, we can get we can get the bat and the ball, move some runners over. Exactly. You know, do, the, do it the right way. Facts. See, this is why I need to get a baseball mind in here, because you, you're thinking about the variables I'm not thinking of. You know what I mean? Yeah, but... Yeah, when it comes down to executing it at bats, no, nah, that's your job. <laughs> yeah, that that's I gotta handle that part. <laughs> All right, so you got Austin let's, Meadows, Brian Dozier, Shane Green, and Nate Pearson. Yeah, let's go, Nate Pearson. Okay, okay, there we go. My man throws gas. This is a common round. I don't know if you know any of these guys. I do not know one of them. I need some. I need to stack the pitching with this one. I would say right, Gabriel. Gabriel, is that how you say his name? Gabriel Moya, I'm guessing. Moya, yeah. Let's let's throw it. Let's get a lefty up in that joint. Okay, okay. You you're biased for lefties or what? Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's hard not to like the lefties. <laughs> no, I feel you. Uh you got Brandon Waddell, Daniel Mengden, the uh, Johnny Pareda, and Nick Heath. Just tell me who's uh, who you want me to scroll over when it comes to the attributes and stuff like that. I'm yeah, trying. Let's go I'm trying way too hard to not like do any hints. Like I'm, I'm looking at myself in the camera. I'm like, there's no hints at all. You're definitely smirking. I can tell. Yeah, I. But I'm not like smirking, like hinting at a player. I'm just like, I'm trying to, to think, and make sure I'm being overly let's, cautious. No doubt. Let's go to uh, Nick and Joni. Joni, let's let's see what they got. All right. There's Nick. All right. And then there's Joni. Let's go with Nick. He's got some speed. Got you. He does have a little bit of speed. If he ends up on the bench, that's solid. So you got... It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah. Well, they're giving, to be fair, you're getting like all the bronze and common rounds right now. So these are all guys that we're getting the bums out the way. So that means we got it. Let's go Ryan. Okay. Ryan Castellani, starting pitcher. Okay. Here's a silver round. Here, there we go. Let's get uh I know Pender in real life, he can slam it every now and then. Michael Gibbons, that's my boy. Let's go, let's go, Michael Gibbons. Go 
Okay, Michael Gibbons. Sidearm, sidearm. Yeah, there I'll we go. Pin. We got a little bullpen piece. We got Michael Pineda, Dylan Batances, Jorge Alfaro, and Lowen Diaz. Go back to Jorge. Here's his full stats, his full attributes. What are we looking for here? What are we looking for? I'll show you our lineup. This is our current lineup right now. We obviously no bench. One person in our bullpen and three starters. Let's go. Let's go Diaz. Diaz? All right. Lewin Diaz. Got you. Okay. Another common round. We got Nathan Lukes, Andrew Stevenson. I don't know. I never know any of these guys in the common rounds. Heath Fillmire and Jackson Goddard. Let's go Jackson. Jackson? Okay. Got you. Yeah, for sure. Got you. Stack got up you. all these starters yeah. so we can get. The silver get round, the Brad Keller. Josh Stalmont, Joe Morgan, Andrew McCutcheon. I I will say one I thing. I love Kutch, man. What you got? You wanna, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hint to anything. I'm just gonna tell you this has been a pretty rough draft for you. Like you haven't gotten any like you haven't made any wrong decisions because they haven't given you any like stacked <laughs> options. You know what I mean? So it's, I know. I mean, <laughs> it's been it's been tough for you. But uh, okay, so you said Kutch. Well, see, I'm trying to rule it out because, like, I know for a fact if I start picking all these position players, my gold and my dime, my legend are, are just going to be probably pitchers. So I'm trying to save those cards for the lineup. I, I like that you're strategizing. I do like that. Because I know for a fact that's probably what they're going to do. I think we go Josh here. Okay. Kinda add that to the pin. I, hey, Third that's gas. Yeah, no, he has outlier. He has, he throws gas all right we got brian johnson ryan bookter ryan lavarnway and jb shuck let me know who you want to look at what's ryan what's ryan uh look like ryan has a fastball cutter curveball and slider the actual attributes really don't matter as much as like the pitches yeah exactly kind of how they break it up mm -hmm. yeah, let's go with ryan see see okay. what we can get okay you um, gotta start throwing us some good cards here. <laughs> yeah, they're they're struggling. Maybe. We got uh oh yeah, you you got that that Brewers love right there. My boy Manny P. <laughs> uh, you got Babe Ruth, Shane Green, Manny Pina, and uh Grichik. Let's go Manny P, man. All right, there you That's go. That's my boy. Yeah, you got That's it. My boy. Hey, you're allowed to be as biased as you want, man. That's my. You boy. can pick Craig Council if he comes up. <laughs> All right, we got Chris Archer, AJ Minter, Brett Gardner, and Aquino. Cycle through them. You don't have to go. You don't have to click on them. There's Aquino, the top. Brett Gardner, AJ Minter. Those are his pitches. And then well, I like that. Cut yeah, I don't think. It, yeah, I don't know. If, yeah, there's. You have to click on them to show pitches. And then Chris Archer. Let's go, Minter, AJ. I like that. I like that pick. Okay. Here we go. There we go. We got James Paxton, Melvin Adon, Adam Dunn, and Mike Yastrzemski. I like. Cycle between Mike and Adam. I'm one of those going to be the You guys. got Mike right there. You got Adam right there. Oof. Discipline. I like that. Let's go Adam Dunn. Adam Dunn. Let's go. Okay. We got um, Hunter Pence, Ramon Urias, Noe Ramirez, and Adrian Hauser. Let's let's throw my boy Doogie Hoosier up in there for the fifth spot, man. <laughs> let's go. All right, we got let's Scott Oberg, Brad Peacock, Ben Zobris, and Hunter Pence again. Well, we got the bullpen looking like all right. So we got this is the bullpen right there. All right, let's uh, Peacock or Scott. Let's let's cycle through those. There's two. a Peacock two seam slider, four seam knuckle curve changeup. And then we got Oberg fastball slider changeup. Let's go Peacock because I like that knuckle curve. Okay, got you, got you. Um, we got Nolan Ryan, Jonathan Scope, uh, Usniel Diaz, and this is the. I think oh, yeah. it's supposed to be like rookie Harper. I think, like this is what this card's based off of. What's Diaz look like again? This is Usniel Diaz. What about Scope? This is scope. Honestly, we're looking for power here. What are we looking for right now? I can't say nothing. You can say something. I can't say nothing. Phone a friend. No, phone a friend. No, normally, normally I would be like, uh, normally I would definitely, 
you would have already picked the person that I wanted to because I'd be hinting it so bad. But I'm trying to turn over a new leaf right now. They they wanted you to pick the whole thing. I'm letting you pick the whole thing. All right, let's go scope for. Uh, That's a hundred percent who I would have picked. A hundred. Yeah, I like to go. Pick. Look at my look at my stats with them. Oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, no, that's that's my dude for sure. Dude, All right, we got a um, wavelength. We got Chris Martin, Mike Miner, Usniel. Damn, they they like Usniel Diaz, I guess. And then Chuck Nasty. I'll show you these guys' pitches real quick. Mike Miner, fastball, slider, changeup, knuckle curve, two seam. Chris Martin, sinker, cutter, changeup, slider. Uh, let's go. Go back to the. Go back to Chris real quick. Oh, yeah, let's go, Chris. He's got velo, doesn't he? Best pitcher in the game. Best BR pitcher to draft. Love it. And hey, I did a, I didn't hit nothing. I didn't hint anything, right? Because I mean, you didn't. There was no sign of me saying that no, he's the best. The, we're on the same wave. Yeah. Like that. No, that dude. Trust me, Chris Martin is one of the best cards you can get in BR. We're actually on a good pace right now, dude. Because the um, the bullpen's almost full. And then, like you said, you wanted to save some of the good bats for uh, for like the lineup, and we're gonna have a yeah, diamond and three and three silvers most likely for for the bench. So we could definitely get rid of some of those like guys, like uh, Lewin Diaz, hopefully or Nick Heath. You know what I mean? Yeah, see if we can part ways with them. But mm -hmm. let's go. I think we gotta go. We don't. Here, I'll oh, show you their pitches real quick. Uh, well, that's... Yeah, I'm worried if we go silver. Jose we're going to need a setup, man. I don't know if we go bronze with the... My boy, Ollie Drake. <laughs> Does that mean splitter? Oh, I already showed you him. Yeah, yeah I say we go... I say we go Jose. Jose? Okay. Yeah, because I want to save... I want to save it for... Okay, oh, so... Shit. You got... Jackie. They picked a weird spot to give us the diamond round, unfortunately. Wait, who's our bullpen right now? All right, let's, uh, I mean, we need a, we need a setup, man, but I don't know if we take the mat, bat or if we take. What we I'll show you Hector Neris' pitches. It's fastball, two seam splitter. This is Olerud's attributes. Hmm. Trevor Story's attributes. In Jackie Robinson's attributes. Yeah, I like Jackie and I like John, but I don't know if we go at if we go a batter here or if we go Hector. But I'm trying to see how we can part this way is because I mean we could throw him in center field. We don't have much of a center fielder. I wish I checked to see what um you know what? I will check for you just to what you got? so you have some clarity. I'm gonna check to see what uh if um what's his name. Tony Perez has a, uh, okay, so Tony Perez can play third and first base. I didn't know if he could yeah. play outfield. If he, if he had a secondary oh, okay. outfield, that, that may have, like, helped you with your decision, you know what I mean? For sure. Yeah, I mean, I like Hector, just because, let's go back to the bullpen, what are we, what are we looking like? This is the bullpen right here. I, I say we go Hector here, because we need, a, we need someone that's going to be dominant and just shut shit down. Okay, got you. Hector Neris right there. And now we're at the bench. We got Lucas Duda, Tyler Wade, Isaac Paredes, and Owen Miller. I like Tyler Wade on the bench. He's got some speed. Okay. Got you. Got you. Kyle Higashioka, Derek Dietrich, Miguel Sano, Josh Reddick. Strong on the lefties. Let's go Sano. Okay. That, <laughs> this this probably if you ask everybody like in the mlb community who the best value pick is i think miguel sano would probably be the number one pick it's the hard not to he's got 96 yeah power as a bronze from both sides as yeah. a bronze that is a huge pick for us and he's got arm strength too so if we need to throw yeah. him in the field so we got kurt suzuki bowling. garrett cooper yoan moncada and uh harrison bader we could throw we could throw bader out there because we got Dunn, right? Oh, Dunn's in left. Dunn's in left. We got Nick Heath in center. We got Jose Ramirez in right. Right now, it's just flirting with if we want to upgrade the outfield or if we want to upgrade uh, corners. Because I don't think we go Kurt Suzuki for catcher. No, I wanted to say something. Say it. Oh, come on. I, I, Okay, well, I'll just tell you something that you may not know, 
but I'll I'll tell you like just so you know because this isn't hinting at you who who to pick at all. Um, Miguel Sano can move to like uh to like right field. Like I could play oh, him can. in right field. Yeah. Okay, well that changes the game then. So then we can go. It's just so I mean like I'm not. It doesn't tell you who to pick. It's just literally telling you that in case you didn't notice that he can play out there, that he can. You know what I mean? Didn't. No, for sure. And you should you should know that for when it comes to who you're strategizing picking. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's just, either be. It's either who. It's either. It's either Garrett or Yon. I don't know which one I want though. You said Garrett or Yon. Yeah. Let's go Yon right there. Let's do that. I think I like that pick. <laughs> this. Yeah, he's one of my favorite what? cards. He's one of my favorite cards in the... Oh, I should have showed you my attributes with him. I mean, my stats with him. Yep. We'll have to check it later. Yeah, I'll it. show you right after this. So you got uh, Pudge, Pudge. Uh, Miggy Andujar, Corey Dickerson, and Yasiel All right. Puig. All right, this is where we get selective. So now we got to really focus on our, our lineup here. Mm -hmm. This is Pudge's... Uh, this is Pudge's attributes. This is Andujar's attributes, Corey Dickerson, and then Puig. I like Dickerson for left field because we can throw him in right or even center field. We can mix up. Mm -hmm. Is that who you're picking? Or uh, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull the trigger or not. But okay, yeah, let's go Dickerson. Dickerson, all right, got you. You got Miguel Cabrera, Joe Morgan, Dansby Swanson, and Jorge Soler. Dude, this changes the whole game. <laughs> Why does it change the whole game? <laughs> because we definitely could have made different picks earlier. <laughs> you said, see, this changes the whole game. <laughs> so, this one round right here. I mean, I like Miggy. You like Miggy? I do. Okay. Uh, what's your stats with him? Do you want... Um, I have three at-bats with him. Uh, 333. I mean, that's Hall of Fame stuff right there. <laughs> Is that who you're choosing? I'm gonna phone a friend on this last pick. You you can't you can't phone a friend, dude. I'm letting I'm letting you pick. I mean, I, let's go. God, I want. I, I mean, I'm just trying to you, piece this. You can ask together. to see more things. Yeah, let's see more things. Okay. Well, okay. So what I'll do, right? Let's see the stats on all of them. Oh, you want to see the stats on all of them? All right. Yeah, why not? So that's a fair game. Yeah, right? no, that's in. That's you asking for information. That has nothing to do with me. Analytics. So, We're we, in a whole new ball game exactly. now. Analytics just run the in world. In YouTube, so. you can't say shit once he sees the stats because he asked for it. He asked me to phone a friend. I said no, but he asked for this. So we got Miggy, three at bats, three thirty-three. I haven't used Joe Morgan before. Dansby Swanson, 13 at bats, 308. Jorge Soler, 175. <laughs> Seems like he's the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hey, you're the one who wanted to see it. 48 Analytics, tanks, baby. 40. <laughs> Analytics. Hey, you gotta have Thank all. You, yeah, sir. you gotta have all of the information sometimes, you know. Yeah, like stats. All right. You gotta know. So is that? You gotta know the report. Yeah, is that who we're rocking with? We're rocking. <laughs> it's just so funny that once the stats came up, it's, it just became so apparent. All right, so I'm gonna let you decide how we do this now. What the lineup? Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, we ended up with a pretty good team. I mean, it's not terrible. No, it isn't. I just like to organize that, so I got him overall. Yeah, you line up the starters, and then I'll. Let's see. We're going to do scope for number one, scopey for for lead off the bats. Okay. We'll go Adam Dunn three. No, let's go. S well, here, what you need to do though, right? Because you got guys like Nick Heath, Jose Martinez, yeah, Lewin Diaz. Yeah, we got to we got to get these guys in here. So you got Yoan Moncada who plays first, second, and third. Oh, these are my stats with Yoan Moncada, by the way. Yeah, for sure. They're stupid. Yeah, no, that he's he's nice. That's a good. That's a this good is, pick. This up. is this is Sano's. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ! <laughs> it'll be hard not to keep those guys in the line. Yeah, uh, Dickerson. I've only used him a couple of times, but obviously good. 
Jorge. So I'm gonna start with that. You got Jorge Soler. We'll put him in right. Um, you can put Miguel Sano at first if you want. Let me look at the fielding real quick on both of them. Cause... Okay, Miguel Sano's fielding is a 50. Like it's right. it's very low. And then Yoan Moncada is a 70. Moncada. Let's put him at third. At third. Okay, you got Tony Perez at third. Let's put Perez at second. Can we do that? No, nah, he plays third and first. All right, let's put him. Well, all right, so now we got a situation. Yeah. Moncada, does he play any other position? He plays second and first. Let's put him at second then. Okay, you got scope at second. Shoot, now we're in a situation. <laughs> I got too many damn infielders. I, oh. I mean... <laughs> I mean, you're my bench coach. You can definitely throw in some hints for. Okay, I mean, Yoan Moncada. Like, what you can do is this: you can easily just put Scope at first. I mean, Sano at first. The first base defense really has. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It not that much. Not that much. So you got Sano here. I'll let you do the Second lineup and base. stuff. I'll just tell Tana, you. The, yeah, third base. Uh, Shortstop Seager. Yeah, we're not taking out Seager. We're, we're not taking out Dunn. Yeah, so we got to replace Nick Heath. Who do we got on the bench again? We got... Oh, wait. Why is Tony oh, Perez I, on the bench? He, say, yeah, Tony I'm Perez can't be on the bench. No, oh, no. oh. Wait, okay. Here's where we get dangerous. Him. Here's where we get dangerous. Miguel Sano plays left and right field, right? Put him in, put him in left. Well, we'd put him in right probably. Who's more likely to play center? I'd, 52 I'd say speed. I'd put Dunn. I put Dunn and right just because he has a better arm. Okay, so Dunn and right. You want to know Solaire in center then, or what? Yeah, probably so. Because the Heath for sure. The goal is to try to get like Heath out of there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me see who. Oh wait, but we got Dickerson, Jose more Center field's a liability regardless. There's there's no way around it. Yeah. So we got Tony Perez at first. You want one caught at third scope. So I, yeah, you could just do like Sano. Right, uh, left field. Oh, wait. Okay, so right here, the only thing about putting Dunn with the, uh, like if you say switch Dunn and Soler, right? You're, when they're playing at their secondary position, they get minus five on their fielding. So, oh, is that right? Yeah, so like you might as well just keep them at their primary positions. You know what I mean? Well, isn't Dunn's third? What do you mean? Or first? Oh, so it's first one. Oh, secondary is the first one, right? Yeah, I got it, I got yeah, yeah. It. So I mean, it's it's. I don't even know what you would do here for center field because it's it's tough. You know, what I mean, you. I think I would probably just risk it. Dickerson, just put Dickerson at at center. Okay, I'll do that. I think we can get away with that. Yeah, and then so um. I'll let you decide how to do the lineup. The lineup. All right, so I go. Let's go start off with Tony. Tony, Maybe okay. We, hold on, go. Yeah, let's go. Tony, scope. Uh, Mancada. Actually, it goes Seeger, Mancada. Oh wait, we uh, don't have, we don't have Sanoan. I thought Damn. we put him in. <laughs> I mean. Uh, it shows you that our team is pretty stacked. Okay, it basically comes down to this. Do you want Dickerson and no. do you want Dickerson or Sano? I'm going Sano, honestly, because the bat, if he can get us a run over, I mean, I don't really we're, care. We're gonna have we're gonna have, we're it, gonna have we Jorge Oh wait, no, no, wait. So it would be uh, okay, Adam Dunn. Well, we need Dunn and yeah. So it would be uh, it would be Adam Dunn in center then. field. Yeah. It's gonna be Adam Tun in center field. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually fucking. We're living on the edge. <laughs> yeah, we are. But fuck it. That's all right. We score five runs. It don't matter. Who exactly. Oh. Exactly. All right. So then we go. So no after Mancata. We put. Actually, let's go. So no. Let's go. So no eight. Or seven. So no Done. seventh. Yeah. Done. Fifth. No, I'll switch to no up to six actually. Okay. And then do Manny P eight, and then we should be rolling. I think. What do you got on that lineup? 
that I'm, I'm, I have no issue with that. I have no issue with that. Is that what, is that what you're feeling right now? I think so, just because you're, you're nasty with Sano, Mankata, so I don't want to put them back to back. I want to make sure that we get some guys that can get on yeah. the base. No, I got you. I mean, regardless, this team, this lineup's pretty stacked to where no matter when they come up, I should be able to hit with them, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Unless I just act like a bitch and just keep losing <laughs> games like I've been. But, um, oh, I do like that Manny Piaz 92, like, diamond fielding, though. That's nice. That's what I'm saying. He's nasty with it. Mm -hmm. So, oh, damn, we got a lot of lefties on the bench. Um, Okay, so... Yeah, that's my problem. Ooh, we got a we got a good bullpen though. Tend to fall in love with those lefties. Yeah, it's all right though. It's all right. Um, let's see, Pecan. Okay, we got our bullpen. Nate Pearson in there. You got your boy. Okay, how boy your... Hauser. All right. It, it's looking all right, man. I think I think I could potentially do this. I think I could potentially go twelve and zero with this team. I definitely think you can. If, no doubt about it. If I do, you're going to be the first person I, I hit up and show for sure. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to do this with me for real. And uh, obviously, best of luck this season. Hopefully, when you come to, a uh, well, it's Oracle Park now. I'll never be used to saying Oracle Park. I always say AT&T. But um, definitely got to link up or some shit, man. Absolutely, brother. It's been a pleasure. It's good to see you. Yes, Always sir. good to hear from you. Let me know when you go 12 and 0 with these guys. I got you, I man. I get manager of the year. Yep, I got you. And if I don't go 12 and 0, you'll just have to come back for 21 and you'll draft me a, a solid little team and we'll do it again. No doubt, man. All right, brother. All right, brother. Take hey, it easy. I appreciate it, man. All right, guys. I'm here to talk to you guys again about Squarespace. I cannot thank them enough for helping sponsor this video. As I said before, Squarespace is just an all-in-one platform that pretty much helps you do everything that you possibly can to help promote your business and run it better. Now take it from me, this website is extremely easy to use and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. I went on Squarespace and within minutes, I was able to provide a cool little organized online platform that helps promote what I do, goes over a stream schedule like that and gives people a little information about myself. As you can see on this profile, I got my logo up here, which not only, you know, advertises who I am, but that's also the logo that goes on my merch and stuff like that. So that helps promote that in general. Then I got my name and I tell people where they can watch me and when they can watch me. And then I give a little information on what I do and a little bit more information about me. But this is just the basics of what you can do on this website. There are so many unlimited ways that you can customize this page to help, you know, kind of give a sense of what your business is like and help promote it and basically give yourself an awesome online presence. I know after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna take some time and touch it up a little bit more and make sure that people, you know, people are impressed when they come on my page. They know that I mean business. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I see all of the features and all of the benefits that you get when using Squarespace, I regret not using this way earlier in my content creating career. When I see this stuff, I know that all of the things that Squarespace has to offer would have benefited my content immensely. Not only growing my brand, but just being more organized when it comes to the stuff that I'm promoting. One of the most awesome things about Squarespace is you can actually embed videos onto your Squarespace page. This means you can grab videos from websites and third-party hosts and post them directly to your website. The way I would use that personally is I would take my YouTube videos and I would take them and put them on the page so people can kind of get an, you know, a little glimpse of what I do and how I am. Now their traffic overview feature is one of the things that is probably most helpful to grow in your brand and your business. What traffic overview does, it basically tracks all of the statistics like who's clicking on your page, how long they're staying on your page and what they're doing on your page. It also shows you how much your page has grown over time so you know when you're doing something right or doing something wrong. They also have Squarespace membership areas that help people like me find another avenue to help make revenue for our content. Basically, this gives you a way to connect with your audience via gated membership areas, so people that pay a little bit more get a little bit more information. What you guys need to do right now is go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website and help promote your business, go to squarespace.com slash Kyle Mineno for 10% off. This 10% off goes on your first purchase to a website or your first domain. Once again, that's squarespace.com slash Kyle Mineno for 10% off on your first purchase of a website or a domain. Once again, I want to thank Squarespace for not only giving me the chance to promote my business and organize my stuff in a better way, but for my viewers as well. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.